Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and all the way back in September, we were invited out to LEGO Fan Media Days to take a look at some of the newest 2024 sets, and one of them has just been revealed as the LEGO Icons Kingfisher Bird. This is a beautifully crafted model in the new Flora and Fauna collection from LEGO Icons, which promises to give us a ton more animals and flowers in the future. I'm very excited to see what else we get, but let's just take a look at the LEGO designer introducing the set right now to all of us. The Azure Kingfisher. Uh, I'm just going to show the product shot because it's relatively small. Um, we wanted to... Um, Hold on to drive somewhere from, from botanicals and then we were exploring some uh, more organic shapes and what we could do. So we thought we could do a, 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 a slice of nature and have, have a very iconic pose. Um, it's, it's well known in the old world. Uh, it's a very shy bird that usually perches on uh, streams and then catches fish. So this is a very iconic pose that photographers usually uh, shoot it in. Um, it's uh, 834 pieces and it will retail for um, $49.99. Um, okay. And we don't have any, we didn't develop any new elements for it, but I think this is really cool. Uh, we have this modified plate that was originally made for uh, the Magic Castle, uh, and we now have it transparent, which is not something we can do with every part. Uh, that was used That's to create nice. the, the splash Aww. of the wings. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but for a lot of the male birds, Dark Blue was actually a pretty good fit. Thank you. Sure. Um, is this set part of like a new like named collection? Is this is there a like a collection? That I that I don't know yet. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. Chaz. <laughs> Any other free colors of note apart from the uh, amazing Um, I think um, there's some dark orange stuff, of course. Um, um, I'm a little bit more fogging now than before about what is new and what is not, so uh, I never know for sure what is actually a recolor and what is just a reintroduction of an old mm -hmm. color. Uh, but I believe these tail pieces, uh, which were originally kneecaps of construction figures, are the first time in dark blue. These are the first time in dark orange. Then we have the pneumatic uh, T piece and tan. And well, this is my favorite transparent. And then we also have the, the new, relatively new palm leaves in sand blue. Thank you. Glenn. Oh. Oh, um, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I was wondering, is this like part of like this seems to be this like progression with like also the insects line to have like these animal species on like these display stands with like a piece of like nature also behind it? Is this like a commonality? Maybe we can. Is was there an inspiration or maybe like a collaboration with like the teams on both of these pieces? So ideas does work closely with us, but our main inspiration was the botanicals. Actually, we were we were looking into how we can expand. Um, more organic shapes and nature at a lower price point, uh, with you know not doing just flowers and seeing how that's how that organically progresses. And I think birds was a good was a good way to do that. Seamus, I noticed it turns very smoothly. Is it just a table or is it on a two table? No, it's actually just I believe it's just a coincidence that okay. it has. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever built an architecture, that's it. You know what? Yeah. Jay. What did you enjoy most about designing this? I really enjoyed working on a smaller model. Um, this was like, I could really take my time and really enjoy it and do something that wasn't a recreation of, well, it is in a way a recreation, but it's not a recreation of like a museum object. So for me, that was really fun. So this is the Kingfisher Bird. First of all, huge shout out to the designer for actually going out to fan media days to present the set to us. It was so cool to see this in person and I cannot wait to have this built because there are so many interesting building techniques that I can tell were just packed right into it just by looking at it from the first outset fully built and I'm sure that the building experience is going to be even cooler. Now this set will include 834 pieces and it's rumored to retail for 50 US dollars. By the time this video comes out, we will have the full international pricing information. So you can probably find that on lego.com as well, but that's actually a really good price 
given the size of this and the number of pieces included, it will come on shelves on February 1st, which is quite exciting because that's coming up pretty soon, and the set number is 10331. It is officially part of the LEGO Fauna Collection. The first set in the Fauna Collection was LEGO Art Parrots that just came out on January 1st, and again, I'm really curious to see what other things LEGO will do in the Fauna Collection. So far, we're getting two different styles of birds, and I'm quite curious to see what else we will get for this particular series. Now, one of the most interesting things about the Kingfisher is that they've recolored the pagoda element introduced for the LEGO Architecture Temple set in transparent clear to act as water droplets. That is a recolor that I certainly would not have expected. It's a very, very interesting piece to get in clear, but I'm sure that opens up a ton of new possibilities when it comes to creating mocks about this and just creating your own custom creations, which is pretty cool. But that, of course, is not the only recolor as the designer mentioned. There are some recolors in the dark orange color as well, and one of my personal favorite recolors is the usage of the CCBS add-on element in dark blue. That was a piece that was introduced for characters like Darth Maul and Han Solo back in the final wave of CCBS Star Wars buildable figures back in 2018, but getting that in dark blue opens up a ton of possibilities for Bionicle custom characters and mocks. As you know from Duck Bricks, I am a big Bionicle fan, so whenever LEGO actually reintroduces a Bionicle-styled piece or something that can be used for large action figures in a new color, I am definitely a huge, huge fan of that, and I am really happy to see them still continue to give us recolors of that piece. It's always a nice surprise when LEGO will actually do that. Now the Kingfisher is again coming out on February 1st, so I'm quite excited to get it. It is a really nice, poseable model. You can articulate the head. It looks like you can even articulate the individual wings up and down, which is very nice. You've got some other good recolors here, like the leaf recolors from the LEGO Mario Donkey Kong sets in the sand blue coloration, which is quite nice. You can see them as the tips of the feathers of the wings themselves, and one thing I really like about this is that you also have a bit of a diorama of the Kingfisher emerging from the water itself, causing a bit of a splash as it arcs above the water. Overall, this is a really, really nice looking build. Big fan of the color scheme. Dark blue, dark orange, and sand blue is a really classy and just good looking color scheme overall. And again, if this is just the beginning of a wonderful new fauna collection, I can see this being potentially as popular as LEGO Botanicals. We'll have to see where they take it, but I'm very, very impressed. Alright, and with that, we've summed up our brief look at the brand new LEGO Kingfisher Bird. What do you think of the set? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What other animals would you like to see LEGO do as part of this new Icons collection? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon, and bye for now.